Towards the northernmost part of the province of Masbate lies an island. An island endowed with a natural beauty that mirrors the splendor of God. Of lush valleys and rolling hills. Of pristine and crystal clear waters. But the truly hidden gem of this island in the north of Masbate is its people, its culture, and its faith. Welcome to the island of Boreas, the good soil of fate. History tells us that the very first to receive the faith in the entire Bicolandia is the island of Boreas. In 1567, an Augustinian missionary by the name of Fray Alonso Jimenez landed on the shores of what is now known as Barangay Kiboaya. There, he baptized the reigning Datu of the area, Datu Buaya, along with his wives and more than a hundred children. This was the first baptism in Luzon. There are even claims that the church in San Pascual was built by Fray Alonso Jimenez himself and is the oldest church in the Philippines. Nauna naging bisitahan ang Luzon sa misyonaryo pagkatapos sa Cebu, Kagpanay, Amo, ang isla sa Boreas, Kibuaya, Kiparal. Nauna nag-abot didi, wala lang sang record kung ano ang ginhimo ninda, may nagsabi unang abunyag, pero ginaklaim kamagalyan ni Sorsogon, Ali sa ato nagkato sa dito 450 years ago ginumpisahan gintunaan ang una nga misa sa entero nga Luzon pero maski wara sa records ang istorya 
Diyos lang nakaaram sa yaisip kag puso nga una ini ginkatuan sa misyonaryo dara ang pagtuo ang pagtubod na ginasabi ko. There are four Catholic parishes in the island of Boreas. The oldest, the parish of San Pascual Bailon, was established in 1840 with Father Luis Diaz Colantes as the first parish priest. In 1964, when Masbate was still under the Diocese of Sorsogon, another parish was established in Claveria with San Isidro Labrador as the patron. But due to the rising pastoral demands to care more for the flock of Christ, the parish of the Holy Trinity in Barangay Pasig, Claveria, was established on May 13, 1999. Upon the arrival of Bishop Jose Bantolo, the third and present Bishop of Masbate, works began on the establishment of a fourth parish in Barangay Mabini, San Pascual. This was finally realized on May 13, 2017, the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, she being the patroness of this new faith community. This year, 2021, 
as we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, we are called to proclaim the faith that we receive, to share this faith, to give this so precious a gift. In Burias, the faith continues to bloom as a testament to this growth and as a response to the thriving community of faith, another parish is about to be born in Barangay Boca Inganyo. Faith indeed, when nourished, always bears fruit, and the Gospel of St. Mark truly resounds, and those are the ones sown with seed on the good soil, and they hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty, sixty, and a hundred times as much.